Hey, we're Casey here, and welcome back to the Sims Santos updates in the Simpsons Tap Town. Got this major event going on. It's pretty close to being complete. This is the fourth and final act, and this is going to be the very first personal prize. Ah, yeah. Driving intensely. The slowdown, they've got you. You're going awfully fast, Lou. That's because one of your day old donuts is jammed under the gas pedal. Don't get it dirty. Let me get it. Brace yourself, Homer. Drives off the cliff. Driving menacingly. Driving off a cliff won't save you. Drives off cliff. Pulls donut from under gas pedal. And got it. Ah! Screeches to a halt. Is that a parachute coming out of the back of Fat Tony's car? Parachute for cowards. Fiery crash. Ah, oh, Lou, thanks a lot. Your foot squeezed the jelly all out of my donuts. A fiery crash won't stop me from getting what is mine. There's no way he's still alive. Also, we already have Springfield Gorge. But the picture of this is from that. And this is a completely different item. This is a Grand Chasm. Oh, you're pretty large. Maybe it's the bottom of the Grand Springfield thing. I found it, by the way. It's up top in the, in the top there. Committing the only crime in this town is harder than keeping our noses clean. Boss, why is Costas Becker after us? You never crossed paths with him before. True, I have never done business with this gentleman. You, Homer? Borrow money from a psychotic loan truck and forget to pay him? And then forget I had bored money in the first place? Nah, that doesn't sound like me. It sounds exactly like you. Alright. So I moved it so I can actually get at this thing. Mm -hmm. Technically it would have to be like right here. But it doesn't really work because there's like a path. You know? Ah. Because I assume this is basically supposed to be the bottom of the... Springfield Gorge, right? But anyway, you can see it's smoldering there. As I zoom in really close, we have a bunch of different items. TVs and doors and things of that nature. Another car that didn't really make it. Actually, there's a couple of cars that didn't really make it. Also, we've got a piece of paper there. Probably Bart Simpson's homework. All right, let's chop this thing and, and see if it does anything else. <laughs> I assume that's probably cost us beggar. It's one heck of a crash. It would have been actually a lot better if there was like a car that flew over the edge every time you tapped it. Or you, you can toggle it off and on, right? And have it toggled on. So every 10 seconds or whatever, a car flies over the edge. But maybe that's a little bit too brutal and graphic, I don't know. I'm not saying we would see the end result of it, but you know what I mean? It's like the episode when the comet is coming, and then the comet blows up the bridge, and then people are just jumping over the, <laughs> the bridge with their car. We don't see the end result of that. We see them flying over the edge. Figured that's what would happen with this as well, but... I, I actually really like this a lot. I just don't know what to do with it. That's the problem. Because, like I said... It's technically over here, right? Because that's where he goes down the, the thing. So I guess we'll just stick it here for now, I guess. Yeah, we'll stick it there. Maybe maybe they go fall over the edge or something and that's the end result. I don't know. By the way, let me know down below what do you think of the Grand Chasm. This is a guy from more top of videos and I will see you with our major of this fourth and final act in the Sim Santos update very shortly. Bye-bye, everybody.